The Premier League title is now in Manchester City's hands and it's going down to the final day. Now, at this point, because of how many times City have shown their dominance in recent years, many have written this off as another title in City's hands, but it's actually not over. Arsenal fans, there's still some hope. Come with us. Man City play West Ham on the last day of the season, and looking at that game, we can tell you that if Arsenal can manage to win their own game against Everton, the league title might be theirs. Why do we say that? Because West Ham have special motivation. This is why West Ham will do everything to stop Man City from winning the Premier League title. It is true that West Ham have nothing to play for going into the game against City. They mathematically can no longer qualify for any of the European tournaments, which means that the game is unimportant as far as the league table is concerned. But here's the thing, West Ham have personal motivation to win the game and reign on City's parade. First of all, that game will be David Moyes' last one as West Ham boss. We all know that he's considered a true West Ham legend, having won them their first major trophy in 43 years and their first European trophy in 58 years. Now, knowing that he'll be saying goodbye to the club this summer, the boys will be motivated to give him the grandest farewell they can possibly give, which is helping him win his last ever game in charge of the Hammers. Apart from that, Moyes himself will be extra motivated to coach a winning game that day because of his ties to Manchester United. He may not have stayed there that long, but one year is usually enough for a Man United man to hate his noisy neighbours. And considering he was the direct Fergie successor, we would assume that he inherited that hatred from the legendary gaffer himself. So, because of that, we believe Moyes would desperately want to deliver what it takes to stop Pep Guardiola and Man City from eclipsing Alex Ferguson and Manchester United's legacy by winning four Premier League titles in a row, something Fergie was never able to achieve in his career. And don't forget that Moyes is a Scotsman just like Ferguson, and he was also handpicked by Fergie to take over the Man United job from him in 2013. So if it's in his hands to do the big boss a favour, you better believe that Moyes will try and do all he can. Heck, we won't even be surprised if Moyes gets a call from Fergie ahead of the game. Moyes aside, West Ham striker Mikael Antonio already made some really bold comments a few weeks ago, suggesting that if the title went down to the last day, it would be Arsenal's trophy because they would do whatever to stop City. One of the most senior players in the West Ham ranks coming out to say that gives a little insight to what the level of motivation in the Hammers dressing room could be. But perhaps the biggest reason the manager, the players and even the staff are motivated going into that game is because of their old boy Declan Rice. You see, Rice is not just a former West Ham player, he's a former West Ham captain and a graduate of the West Ham Academy. A hammer through and through, he joined the club when he was a teenager, played there for 10 years, featured in 245 games in total, became a captain and even became the first West Ham captain to lift a trophy in 43 years, one of only three club captains to ever lift a piece of silverware. And on top of that, he left the club honourably. He won a trophy in his final ever game and used his departure to help the club generate a truckload of cash. If you remember, Rice was bought for £100 million, equaling Grealish's record as the most expensive Englishman in history. West Ham were able to use that money to make some really impactful signings, including Mohamed Kudus, James Ward-Prowse and Edson Alvarez. So yeah, Rice is something of a prominent figure in and around the West Ham dressing room. Some would even call him a legend. And if the boys have a chance to do one of their own a favour, you bet they'd give it their all. So, essentially, West Ham have a lot of motivation going into that game against Manchester City. They want to help Declan Rice win a Premier League title. They want to send David Moyes off with a win in his final game in charge of the club. And Moyes himself would love to stop Pep Guardiola from outdoing the legacy of his mentor and fellow countryman, Alex Ferguson. And even on the other hand, with Everton already safe from relegation, they might be willing to go a little easy on Arteta, considering he is one of theirs and played there for six and a half years. They already did Arsenal a small favour by knocking Liverpool out of the title race with their win in the Merseyside derby just a few weeks ago, so they certainly won't be so mad if Arteta beats them and wins the Premier League title on the very last day. Who knows, that could even motivate Arteta to come back to coach them at some point in the future. So, while it might not look very promising right now if you're an Arsenal fan, there's still reason for hope. Oh, and one more thing. 
At this point, it's impossible for Man City to win the 2023-24 Premier League title on goal difference, so if their game against West Ham ends in a draw, Arsenal will win the title on goal difference with a win against Everton. So the favour the Gunners need from their neighbours is not even a massive one. A draw will definitely do, but we'll see how things unfold on Sunday. So, what are your predictions for that big day? Will City win their fourth in a row? Will this finally be Arsenal's time again after 20 years? Will we see the title being won with an additional time clincher like in 2012? Be bold with your predictions in the comments. We'll come back here in a few days to see which one of you is a prophet. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.